Hello there, my name is Martin and today I'm going to show you a nice to have tool for your Apple computer. It's called Mac Booster and it slightly improves your Mac's performance. But first hit the like button, subscribe and let's get started. Mac Booster is an app made by IOBit that helps to keep your Mac effective and safe. As said on their website, Mac Booster is your one-stop Mac maintenance tool to clean up 20 types of junk files and remove Mac malware and virus to protect your Mac. Besides, Mac Booster can optimize your Mac hard disk to boost your Mac to the peak performance. You may find it pretty similar to CCleaner, but in fact, Mac Booster is way more complex and effective. And before we start, I have a cool chance for you to get Mac Booster for free. All you have to do is to leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. When this video will get 100 likes, we will give away randomly 5 copies of Mac Booster. The chance is just huge, so don't miss it. So let's take a look at the interface. At the top we have the system status bar and that's where we should start. Let's click the scan button and get the info about the issues and junk on our computer. In my case it took one and a half minutes to scan the disk. 18 GB, that's a lot, especially considering that I have a 256 GB MacBook. By the way, what is the storage capacity of your Mac? Tell me about it in the comments. Also, you can see the number of viruses and malware detected and the number of options for optimizing. Ok, now let's boost it. First, let's get rid of the system junk. There is no need to keep it all on your computer. Also, tests show that Mac Booster finds more junk than other cleaning tools for Mac. 15% more than Clean My Mac X, for example. Next, let's get rid of the viruses and malware. For some reason, even after fixing it, it still displays it as unclean, but it gets fixed when we get back to it. But to be honest, I'm not sure it finds all the viruses and malware because it's only 7 issues after a year of using my MacBook without any cleaning. But who knows, maybe I'm just very careful about the websites I download from. And now let's finally turbo boost it. This feature optimizes your disk, which slightly improves your Mac's effectiveness. It includes fixing disk permission issues, fixing cache settings and finding non-compliant cache files. We're done with the main stuff, but let's take a quick look at the extra tools. The first one is the memory clean which helps you to enhance the amount of free RAM by rearranging it. And pay attention that you can click the clean button multiple times and each time you get a little more free RAM. Orally, I got around 4GB of extra RAM. This is extremely helpful for anyone who does multitasking. Also, I'm using it each half an hour when editing because Final Cut isn't very happy about my 16GB of RAM. And almost all the released memory gets back soon, so keep an eye on it. There's also a details button, which shows you how much memory is used by different apps. But I wouldn't trust it, cause here you can see Final Cut taking 20GB of RAM on a 16GB Mac. Activity monitor shows 11GB. And as you can compare, Mac Booster exaggerates the RAM usage of almost each app, so I suggest you to forget about the details button. The privacy protection tool protects you from tracking and getting your personal information leaked by cleaning up cookies, browsing history, passwords, etc. But before removing them all, ask yourself if you remember your passwords and if you're sure you're ready to the headache of logging in everywhere again. The next one is the uninstaller. Nothing unusual but quite useful to have one. And a nice chance to get rid of the stuff I'm not using anymore. The same with the startup optimization. I don't know about you, but I hate it so much when I turn on my MacBook and loads of things create the junk on my desktop. It's so annoying. I bet you were in a situation where you forgot about some folder and kept being puzzled on what has taken your storage space. Well, you can forget it, cause Mac Booster shows you all the large files you might forget about. 
And another tool I love is the duplicate finder. It finds all the duplicate files and allows you to delete them by one click. I was really surprised when I found I had almost a gigabyte of them. It's nice to have a thing because it always happens that we download the same file multiple times. PhotoSweeper works just like the duplicate finder, but it shows you photos that just look similar but aren't duplicates. Photographers may find it useful, but that's not my case. Of course, macOS is generally more stable than Windows and doesn't need optimizing that much. But if your Mac is old, weak or it's good, but you're always challenging it with lots of tasks, Mac Booster is just a must-have software. However, the System Junk Clean tool, the Uninstaller and Duplicate Finder are going to be useful even for the most powerful Macs. But there's one thing, the program is free and there's nothing wrong about it. The problem is that there's no trial and you'll have to buy it to start using it. And the minimal payment is a $40 year license or $30 if you buy it during the summer sale which is still ongoing. But don't worry. IOBit offers a 60-day money-back guarantee, so it's risk-free. But if you like MacBooster, you can choose between a subscription and a lifetime license. This is great, I think, because most companies offer only one of these options, which is very inconvenient sometimes. And just a reminder that you have a chance to win MacBooster for free just by subscribing, hitting the like button, and leaving a comment. Of course, it's not the only Mac optimizer tool. There's even more popular ones, like Clean My Mac X or Mac Keeper. You may even find lots of articles on the internet telling that Clean My Mac is better, but they don't seem very impartial to me. The only obvious disadvantage of Mac Booster compared to the other software is its price, which is higher than Clean My Macs, but on the other hand, Mac Booster is the only one that has some cool features like the Duplicate Finder, for example. In conclusion, I'd like to share my own experience. Since buying my MacBook a year ago, I was sure I just don't need any cleaners. But now, as I see how much junk is stored in my Mac and how much its effectiveness was decreased, I'm not sure anymore. I will definitely be using Mac Booster from now on and I can recommend you the same. That's all for today. I really hope you found this helpful. If yes, let me know in the comments or ask me if you have any questions left. Also, I'd really appreciate if you support us with a like and a subscription. Anyways, thanks for watching, see ya!